Hi, my name is Todd Labonte. I'm CEO of eSupply Link. We're kind of a startup that's been around for 15 years here in Traverse City. And um, basically, um, we were, began under uh, another company back in 1997, which I started here in Traverse City. We built that up, we sold it to a public e-commerce corporation. Um, three or four years went by, uh, me and some partners actually bought the products back at a much reduced price. They were consolidating to a uh, other company. We merged uh, these data collection products into a product line in 2003. And then in 2010, we had some of our customers come to us that were in the pharmaceutical supply chain and give us some new requirements. And that had to do with suspicious order monitoring in the controlled substance supply chain market of pharmaceuticals. In 2008, we won a contract to deliver that. Now, in last year, we won a contract to uh, deliver a serialization platform for pharmaceutical manufacturers. Um, and we're in the process of building that today. When I give a presentation, I always have to tell everybody, where's Traverse City? <laughs> <laughs> so we're in a, why Traverse City? And everybody knows that here. Uh, some of our current customers, you know, just some big names here. Anybody who plays disc golf, Innova Disc Golf is the biggest disc golf maker in the world. UPS, everybody's heard of them. Unisource, big paper manufacturer, so forth. Itamitsu, uh, tier uh, one supplier. And Tentacle is also a tier one supplier in the automotive supply chains. We basically have a, a number of products. The, 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 the port one's SOM link, that's suspicious order monitoring. It deals with pharmaceutical controlled substances. The serialized now is in the manufacturing space of pharmaceutical. That's pharmaceutical across the board. 2013, President Obama signed the Drug Supply Chain Security Act of 2013 in, in December. And it, so by November of 2017, all manufacturers have to serialize down at the unit level. So unit level, case level, maybe a batch level, and then a pallet level. So that's big news for them. Uh, ComplyLink's been our product that we you know, bought back in 2000, and that deals with the automotive and the retail supply chains. We only have five minutes, so I can't go into a lot of detail. SOM Link, this, this deals with regulatory issues within the supply link. The DEA 21 CFR 1301B, 74B is a regulation that, that determines that these manufacturers, distributors, I just, we just want to deal uh, for a 900 store retail pharmacy here in the United States that is using our product to monitor all their stores. That's the kind of uh, system it does. So it, it, it watches the orders flowing through systems, does statistical analysis, and then gives the ability for their analysts to go inside to investigate these orders of interest and decide whether or not they're gonna be reported to the DEA. Otherwise, they pass the test. Um, that's the one product. The other product that we have is, is serialized now. This is the other pharmaceutical market. And this deals with manufacturers exclusively and this is on the line. So you're, you're dispensing, um, let's say, bottles of aspirin. Every one of those have to be serialized, uniquely identified. This is, you know, more, um, gives you more information than just lot number processing. And so we're on the line, we're dealing with, um, you know, printers, scanners, eject stations, all that type of stuff. We collect it in a certain format and we store it and we give visibility we actually give it to other companies that give visibility to this down the supply chain. Okay, this is kind of what it looks like. We're not going to go through this, but that's that's uh, uh, just a representation of a line up there and all the interaction that we have to do. These start off about two hundred thousand dollars a deal. Comply Link. This has our been our product since the beginning. This deals with manufacturers, distributors. Basically, if you're in the automotive and the retail supply chain, where you're, supply, you know, you're supplying to Ford, you're supplying to um, Nissan, Honda, they all have big requirements for it. So do the suppliers of Sears, Walmart, Kmart, all the, the Walgreens and so forth. 
they also need to do certain serialization, that's why we, we, we're experts in this, in this market. So in summary, you know, we, we have a product line, we have revenue, we have customers, we have infrastructure, we have customers. We have proven pharmaceutical services and a growing customer base. Why am I here? Well, one, I like to get in front of people and talk. <laughs> Two, I'm looking for a couple resources. Somebody that, you know, very technical, uh, probably part-time to begin with. So for VBS scripting and crystal reports, I'm looking for sales account managers. And then also I'm looking for somebody that has been very successful, has a successful career, that is looking for an opportunity to be with the company and, 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 and join in some of the decision making of, of a company like ours. And so I'm looking for somebody with strong sales, marketing, operations, and venture capital type of experience. Because we will be going for money here in the next uh, three to nine months. So thank you very much. Yes. So what's the, the current competitive market space like? Uh, how are you guys future-proofing what you're doing? So the, the marketplace is um, different for the different products that we have. The, the pharmaceutical market is our, um, I guess, our focus at this point. We see it a very growing market. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies have quite a bit of money um, that, um, that we sometimes struggle with in the automotive retail markets. So we're, we're trying to go towards those markets and you know, basically stand the cutting edge and the demands, and these are mostly regulatory products that deal with supply chain. So they're, they're issues that are not only in the United States, but they're global issues. Serialization is occurring across the world, Brazil, China, uh, Turkey, and so forth, uh, to serialize and protect supply chains in pharmaceutical and other industries. Yes. You said eventually that you might uh, raise some money, some venture capital money. What is that going to be used for? Uh, development, marketing. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, what steps are you taking to uh, anonymize or encrypt information in case of a hack? I assume you have HIPAA compliance requirements. The, the, there's no HIPAA here that we don't deal with patient data at all. This is all uh, information on the pharmaceutical supply chain of products. So it's really delivering all the serialized, serialized information. And so someday you can take your camera on your, um, on your phone, take a picture of your aspirin bottle, and say, oh, that, that's authentic. Or better yet, if it's Viagra, you want to make sure it's real, right? <laughs> so <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so, go ahead. How long have you been doing this? How large is your organization? We're, we're, we're a small organization right now. We're uh, about six people, no, five people full time. We have uh, a, a, an entity that helps us. We have a, a current investment. That, that help with some of the, the financial issues that we have, accounting and so forth. We also have uh, a development staff in Ann Arbor and Shanghai that, um, that serve some of the development need. Yes, sir. Are there um, opportunities to market this to other countries? Yes, there is. The Surrealize Now is something that, uh, like I said, Turkey, uh, Brazil, China, and a number of other countries are currently either in the process of implementing or have done over the past few years. Like Brazil is already there. They already have this uh, unit level serialization. Protection against counterfeit drugs? Or counterfeit drugs and also diversion. Because if, if you're taking oxycodone or even Tylenol and, and selling it over here, uh, that's diversion. And, and that's something they're always trying to reduce. Yes. 